What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care and here I am at one of my commercial properties and basically I'm going to uh, clean out this ditch. It's been raining a lot so everything is kind of wet and soggy and when I was mowing um, I kind of got stuck just a little bit but I uh, caught it on time so good to go. Now uh, I'm going to just go and clean this out right here. So, you know, again, I'm using a Vortex uh, trimmer line and the steel uh, 111 RX and the little handle that you see right here is a Darwin grip. And if you guys, uh, you know, want to check out a Darwin grip or whatever the case might be, it's in the uh, video description. All right. So um, I was watching Brian's lawn maintenance and, uh, you know, he was talking to one of the contractors in regards to you know mistakes that we make when we first start our lawn care businesses and uh, it prompted me to you know make this video and tell you guys three of my uh, I, I would say my, my main mistakes that I made when I first started my lawn care business uh, you know I started uh, 11 years ago and uh, you know there, there wasn't all this information that you guys have right now so um, you know just uh, yeah so, so, so the first one, first mistake that I actually made, guys, was, you know, how you get into a neighborhood and you get the first house and, you know, you charge them, I guess, you know, your 40 or 45 bucks, you know, for the cut. And then the neighbor comes out and asks you, hey, uh, how much, you know, how much do the yard? And you want that yard so bad, guys, that you end up giving the neighbor a lower price. Yeah, I did that. I gave one neighbor a lower price than the other one. And guys, let me tell you, don't do that because neighbors talk. <laughs> they, uh, what ended up happening was, uh, you know, one of the neighbors, you know, I don't know how they got into the conversation, but I got this phone call from a first uh, customer, you know, the primary one. And they went, hey, uh, how come you charging me this amount and you charging my neighbor this amount? And, you know, my yard is, is mainly, you know, smaller than the other guy. And, and I was I was caught off guard. I didn't know what to say. But, you know, I told him, you know, in order for me to get the, the, the neighbor, you know, I, this, I thought the best thing to do was to give him a discount. So then the, the primary one turned around and said, okay, well, you know, since you got my neighbor as a customer through my yard, now I want a discount. <laughs> I know, guys. And what ended up happening was I ended up lowering the primary one price. So here I was doing two properties at extremely low rate than what, you know, I'm, I'm used to doing it. And, and, and <laughs> to put icing on the cake, guys, I was traveling 30 to 45 minutes away just to get these two properties done. You know what I mean? So guys, remember, have a set price for a set location that you go into. All right. And don't get caught up like me. <laughs> and in saying that, route consolidation guys let me tell you try as much as you can this is my number two try as much as you can to get these properties together i'm telling you i know it's hard believe me i'll be the first one to tell you it is a little bit difficult and it takes a lot of work but guys you have to try your best because when your equipment when when that string trimmer and that edger is is on is working you're making money when they're off you're traveling 20 30 40 minutes from point a to point b you know 30 minutes to point a you get that lawn done 30 minutes to the other place you know you're losing a whole hour you may think it's not a lot but believe me guys it is a lot so try as much as you can to consolidate your routes and i will be putting out a video on on, on the way we do it uh which is extremely cheap and extremely easy and believe me it works okay it works all right guys and the number three the third one is <laughs> spraying people yards with you know uh, for weed control and and all that good stuff and not having a license guys let me tell you and i know a lot of you guys are doing it <laughs> stop it I'm telling you, stop it. Don't do it because you're going to get in a lot of trouble. I'm telling you. I, man, I, I, I 
spray this one lady yard and it was in the middle of the summer and you know on on the bottle it says do not put this do not apply this to any type of turf if the temperature is 85 degrees or above and here i was put it i mean i put it right down in the lady yard man and and i mean thank god that you know the, the yard started to turn a little bit brown but you know i didn't use the the right amount of mixture anyway so I was doing an extremely light application, which I, I mean, I knew that. So that's what kind of saved my butt. I would have been replacing close to 11,000 square feet of turf, you know, if, if, if the grass, you know, didn't uh, return to, to what it was supposed to. Guys, let me tell you, please, and learn from my mistakes, don't apply all these chemicals and you know even roundup you know some states guys um you gotta have an uh, uh applicator's license to apply roundup uh, uh round off you know what i mean so please 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 make sure that you are properly licensed in the state that you're in and uh to get your license you know it's pretty easy guys just go to you know your, your site one you know those guys or, you know, whoever you buy your chemicals from, believe me, they have a way and they can guide you as to, you know, where you can get your license, okay? All right, guys. Um, I hope uh, you guys have a prosperous 2021. And again, I just wanted to share <laughs> my uh, my three main things, guys. And believe me, I have a ton of stuff that, I, that I've done. Um, and again, I, I was just doing it because, you know, I, I wasn't educated on certain aspect but you guys have a lot of information in front of you when it comes to um youtube you know utilize youtube to your advantage guys but remember one thing guys you have to take the information that applies to you you know what i mean when you watch videos on youtube just like like when you watch my videos you know i'm in the south i deal with 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 you know um uh uh southern turf you know i don't have fescue i don't have none of that you know uh cold weather turf i have a, a warm season turf so you have to know and then you have to realize you know you have to look at what i'm cutting you know what i mean what i'm cutting what type of homes i'm cutting and, and all of that good stuff so make sure you take the information that really applies to you and utilize that to the best of your advantage all right all right guys again hope you guys have a great one uh, put your comments <laughs> in the uh, comment section, guys. Let me know. Let me know what type of mistakes you guys, you know, um, have done, you know, starting your business. And if you have any questions, guys, um, you know, it's winter time, and, and, and my content is going to be more, more of this where I talk about certain things. The only thing that I kind of seldom stay away from is a lot of financial stuff, guys, because, again, we're all in different financial categories and and you know my advice you know is is will probably not apply to you so you know i try to stay away from that but you know when it comes to any other thing you know leave leave it in the, in, in the comment below and um you know I'll, I'll make a video you know i'll make a video on it and uh you know we can take it from there all right guys have a have a great one thank you for taking the time to watch my video and uh again Happy 2021. Pop smoke. Peace.
good one. I'll smoke. Peace.